I'd like now to turn to Yuichi Hosei. Thank you, Doug. Uh, let me present a Japanese viewpoint on this difficult question. Uh, Japan is the number three economy in the world after the United States and China, but at the same time, I define Japan as a kind of a frontline state. Frontline means that Japan is located at the front line of the confrontation, structural confrontation between the United States and China. That's why Japan's position is quite vulnerable. Japan can benefit from its close relationship with both the United States and China because China is Japan's biggest trading partner, while the United States is the only Japan's security alliance partner. But at the same time, if war happens, Japan would be in a really difficult situation because Japan would be vulnerable, not just economically and financially, but militarily as well. That's why Japan needs to respond to this dilemma, difficult question, uh, but Japan doesn't have any clear answer to this question. On the other hand, I think that the Prime Minister Abe presented two strategies to this difficult question. Number one, Abe created the Quad. Quad is a kind of a co collaboration among the four leading democracies in the region, in the Indo-Pacific, United States, Japan, India, and Australia. By collaborating together, the four countries, democracies, can respond to the rising China. This is one thing. The other strategy is FOI, free and open Indo-Pacific strategy. With it, Japan presented much more inclusive strategy, fit to connect sub-regions of in the Pacific region. Sub-regions mean Northeast Asia, Southeast Asia, South Asia, Middle East, and also East Africa. Of course, the EU can join in the region, and also the other powers as well, like, of course, China or Russia or any other country can join in the region because Japan's FOIP, free and open in the Pacific strategy, is quite inclusive strategy. Why it is inclusive? Because in the beginning, Prime Minister Abe presented quite the strategy, but it seems that Japan is trying to encircle China. If Japan try to encircle China, the ASEAN cannot join in. If ASEAN cannot join in the regional vision, it means that there is a hole uh, in the middle of the region. That's why it is really necessary for Japan to try to invite ASEAN at the middle of the regional cooperation, I mean the FOIP. But at the same time, uh, ASEAN clearly dislike the idea of dividing the block into the two opposing camps. That's why to try to attract, Jap to try to attract ASEAN, it was necessary for Japanese government, particularly under Prime Minister Abe's diplomatic initiative, to try to invite ASEAN into the regional cooperation of free and open Indo-Pacific. That's why I think that the Prime Minister Abe revised the original regional strategy of the Quad focusing on the Asian security demo democratic dialogue to try to revise it to present much more inclusive strategy to embrace not just ASEAN, but other countries as well, or regional cooperation as well. So in, the, in this way, I think that Japan has been in a very important position to promote regional cooperation in the area, I mean, the Indo-Pacific region, particularly by presenting two different strategies. On one hand, Japan sti still stick to the Quad strategy, which focus on the importance of norms and ideas of democracy, freedom, rule of law, and human rights, and so on. But at the same time, it is necessary for Japan to present much more inclusive strategy by promoting the free and open Indo-Pacific vision, which can embrace China as well. So in this way, I think that Japan has been in a very important tr position to try to mitigate the tension between two sides. But at the same time, it is also important to note that Japan is sided with the United States in the field of emphasizing on the importance of norms and ideas, because Japan share important norms of democracy, freedom, and rule of law and human rights with other like-minded partners, particularly the United States. So in this way, I think Japan has been promoting two different strategy, but combining two different strategies, this two different strategy, I think that Japan has been in a very important position to promote the regional cooperation in the area. Thank you very much.